So he and I were up here working, and this is a, a mine complex that we've never uh, shown before. It's his first time here. It's uh, a bit of a strange one. You can see that they removed a serious amount of dirt, right? Pulled this whole thing down. And by the looks of the trees, it happened a fair bit of time ago. Uh, 40s, 30s. I just don't think these trees have grown this large since then. Could have even been earlier than that. It's, uh, it's like they were trying to expose bedrock, okay, which makes sense. But they didn't actually expose any bedrock up here. Oh, What'd you find? Crazy red rock. Red rock. Dad, this is cool. You can see they also had a sawmill setting up in here for a while. I think, I think there's got to be an open hole. Hold on, Sean. At the head of this, All right? We got, we got collapsing. We got pipes that are draining water. Some water in the bottom of that. What is that? And it might be that. They went into an old mine shaft and just removed all this overburden off the top. That easily could be what's happened here. And then reburied it. Maybe it was. There's a mine wedge. <clears throat> That's for wedging up mine timbers. Well, Dad? Yeah, there must have been underground stuff. There's a sawmill, Dad? Yeah. And actually. Most of those sawmill boards have no bark on them, but they're still good for the taking. Why are you not going up there? Okay, we found the portal. There's a pair of mine rails coming right out. So this would have been the old portal here that they were going into. Complete and total collapse though. Judging from those rails, I'd say. Might be another mine. Pre 1920s. Oh. Yeah, they got no markings on them. That's not uncommon for mine rail. Sorry, this has been used. The markings have been used. This is newer. You can tell. I mean, even the willow hasn't managed to uh, to take a toehold yet. So this has got to be 90s that this was done. Dad. Yeah. Well, Go ahead. Do you? I, I wanted to look over here. I'll be right there, Buster. I'll catch up. All right. Should we go up there together then? Why are you looking out there? Just want to look. There's actually There might be a few mine timbers on. So, there's another flat right here. This is the road down. This really just could be bringing the cat down the mountain after they were scraping everything up here. Um, the dirt down there, because there's, there's no swale up in here, right? So that's the natural slope of the land on both sides. And the dirt down below does not equal even remotely close to the dirt taken out of here. I don't, I don't completely understand that. This does not look to my eyes like the kind of stuff they got gold out of, but maybe Maybe there was a little pocket, a little glacial backwash, so to speak, that deposited a bunch of gold right in here. I mean, we are right at the foot of the mountain. That glacier would have come down and around. Of course, it's going to meet this glacier. I don't know. It's getting to be a bit beyond my pay grade, if you know what I mean. It 
it's hard to say what's going on here. There's one going down, there's one going over, there's one going up. And of course that's where we just were. This all could just be logging stuff, Shay. You can tell this has all been logged. Wouldn't surprise me a bit if this was all just logging stuff. Yeah. But last year, we did a bunch of mines right over there. I don't remember what we called them, what they called that video. And if it comes to me, I'll, I'll maybe link it in the, 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 the doobly-doo thing down there. But uh, otherwise, we did a bunch of mines down there. There's two old cabins down that way. That's the elk cut right there. According to the legend, the guy, big massive drag lines, and he went straight down 60 feet in the center of that, thinking he would hit underlying bedrock and gold seams. He never hit anything at all. And then once a herd of elk got trapped in there in uh, winter, and they all died, they made him fill it in. Times were different in the 50s. Well, where did the elk bone go? I assume they're all buried under an awful lot of rock. That's a weird rock right there. Yeah? I think we might have seen all there is to see up here, Buster Bear. Let's go down to Pine Grove, huh? Explore that thing in Pine Grove that you spotted. Looks like it. We have got a bunch of very curious onlookers. Tasty, curious onlookers. Let's get a shot of that sunset and call it a day, Buster. Okay. Eh, I'm going to pause it. And these chokers. I got the feeling that those were never intended to be left behind. Maybe they were. Maybe they unspooled it off a winch. These ends, though. Super pricey, but they ain't cheap. They ain't cheap at all. Huh. They actually stamped Oregon. So it's good stuff. There's the sunset as promised. And of course the camera loses all contrast, but Here's what it really looks like. Hey, you want to tell them what we always tell them at the end of the videos? See you later. What's it? Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I guess that's it.